Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to use a lookup function in Excel to get data from one range to another. As you see, I have a bunch of um, sales here, and um, they're being shipped by ground or three day or two night days and so on and I'm going to calculate the cost for that so what I'm going to do is find this value here in the category in this list of shipping options and I'm going to use this function guide to, to do that but actually the best thing to do is name this range first so I'm going to name this range right here I'm going to call that shipping options like that that means that I don't have to work with absolute ranges. I can just always use that. That's very good. And then I can go into the function guide and get a lookup and reference in that section. And I'm going to find the vertical lookup. And the value I want to look up is this, the selected uh, category. And I'm going to look that up in the um, shipping options, right? Yes, and you see there I got the preview of it, so I know that I typed it in right. And I want to get the second column, and in this case, that it shouldn't make any guesses. It should always be the correct one. It shouldn't try to um, get the closest match. It should be an exact match. Now, so the ground, this should give me 10. Let's see if that is correct. Ground is indeed $10. That's fine. But now they're just not counting one, or shipping one, they're shipping 3,000. 458 so instead I'm gonna do the multiplication here just add that to the the rest of the function like that multiplied by the count there and now I can just fill that down all the way and as you see I get um, the three day multiply then let's actually look at it without this final thing first and just see that it works properly first and the 12 for 3 day, the 14 for 2 day, let's see if that 2 day was 14, 3 day was 12, okay that makes sense yes so it does work and I'm gonna multiply that by the count and fill it down all the way and of course we're gonna have a sum of all the shipping costs here and we're gonna format that as dollars all of it without the decimals all right, the final thing that I want to show you while on this subject is that you shouldn't actually be able to do something wrong here. It should make it easier for the user of this model to do the right thing. So if I select um, flight instead, which is not an option, you see you get this error here and you get the error there. So that's of course not a good alternative. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to say that this range right there I don't want the user to input anything. I want to have some data validation on this. So I'm going to go into data validation, data validation, and select that in this range, you're supposed to select from the these alternative. That's the only ones you got, right? So then I click OK. And what happens now is that I can actually select ground. And you see that, that the values actually change here. So if I do something that's overnight, more expensive, you see that the value does increase there right away. So that makes it much easier to do the right thing for the user. And if I try to actually type in flight here now, as I did before, you see that I get an error message. Not a very friendly error message, but an error message. So that makes it much easier for the user to do the right thing. And uh, they won't try to type in the incorrect values many times. They'll select instead one of the preferred values there. Thank you for watching this demonstration.